guys, good afternoon. I'm so excited because I just got to my local FedEx and I'm actually about to pick up my new rental camera. I did rent out the Canon M50 for a week just to test it out because I'm really like debating whether I should get the Sony ZV-1 or the Canon M50. I'm very familiar with Canon cameras because that's all I use. My camera that I'm vlogging on right now is the Canon G7X Mark II and then the DSLR that I use is also from Canon so I'm very much you know like hands-on or I already know the texts and little quirks of Canon. I've heard a lot of great things about the Sony ZV-1 and it's basically the same size as the Canon G7X except the viewfinder goes to the side instead of it like flipping up like the Canon G7X. I wanted to test out both cameras first before purchasing them because there is like a 15% deduction if you do return like an open box at Best Buy which doesn't make sense because it's like how am I supposed to know that the camera works if I don't open the box and like use it, you know? This is the fit right now. I'm wearing skims. It's super soft. Super soft. I am home now, as you can tell, and I'm about to unbox my new vlogging camera. It's technically not mine, mine. It's just a rental. Ooh! <gasps> This is cool. Wow, why do I feel like a, a videographer or something? Dun, dun, dun. All right, comes in this little bag. Let's see, ooh. All righty, all righty. All right, so, oh, wow. Okay, this is actually pretty light. I was expecting like as heavy as my DSLR but this is pretty light so this is the Canon M50 body this is just the body you can change the lens if you want I know that Canon offers this camera in black which is this one and also a white one so I just got the black one because they didn't have the white one available online then it came with a charger so if i were to get this camera i have to buy a new set of um, batteries because i heard that one of the cons for this camera is that the battery life doesn't last as long as the canon g7x so i definitely would have to buy like three or four batteries this is the lens i got this is just the normal one this is the 15 to 45 millimeter i'm glad that this one isn't heavy as my dslr like this one is actually pretty light <gasps> oh my god, wait, I'm so fucking excited. Oh, wait. <laughs> see, the problem with my Canon G7X is that, like, do you guys see how if you, like, slide your SD card in, it stays? Mine, it doesn't stay. Like, it keeps popping out. Like, like nothing is clipping it inside anymore. So, the reason why I'm still able to vlog with it is because I'm able to use this cover here and kind of like force it so it stays like that. But I don't want to risk that bitch opening and then like get all my stuff deleted, you know? So this is what it looks like. Oh my goodness. This is what I mean by the viewfinder flipping to the side instead of like up like my G7X. All, all right, right guys. guys. Wow, wow. The, the colors though. though. Actually, actually mm, it looks the same. I can't really tell, but the good thing is that I'm still able to like hold it and vlog this way just by holding it. But I think just for extra stability, I am going to put my tripod. Oh, now I catch myself like looking at the side. So this is the Canon M50, and you can tell if I'm like looking at myself on the viewfinder. As opposed to the Canon G7X, you can't really tell because the viewfinder flips up. So it looks like I'm just looking directly at the lens. I don't know what else I'm doing today, but I do have this camera for a whole week. We'll test it out at the gym while I'm running errands. You know, I'm going to be going out to dinner with my friends this weekend. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. My mom is home. We're literally vlogging everything because I want to test out this, but... This she is hospital with? chicken quesadilla from yeah. the cafeteria. How do you like my new vlogging camera? 
Let's see the quality. Wait, later wait, go on. back. What did you say? Let's see how is the quality later on. I think I'm just literally gonna vlog every random thing I do this week just so I can kind of play around and see if this is gonna be my new vlogging camera and I wanted to film a little get ready with me just so we can see like if the colors are nice and if the product shots are also really nice because obviously as a content creator I'm gonna be showing you guys like products whenever I do like Amazon hauls or you know, opening PR packages and whatnot. So I literally am like on the fence or I'm really debating whether I want to get this one. This is the Canon M50 or the Sony ZV-1. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos comparing the two because they kind of like go hand in hand. And this is the unseen sunscreen. This is like my favorite one. And I feel like it also smoothed out the pores. But anyways, as I was saying, yeah, I've been watching videos just comparing them two, and a lot of people were like, yes, the Canon M50 is amazing, I love it. Like, a lot of people love the fact that you can interchange the lens. I think I would wanna get a wider lens because this lens is the kit lens that it came with, and I already have this lens, so I feel like I can use my old one i don't know if i can use the same lens that i have on my canon 80d to this one though so i don't know but i think if i were to get the canon m50 i would probably get a wider lens so you guys see more of it but i mean this one is okay so far like it's pretty good and i can also like zoom in oh, oh shit. she's going through it excuse it she's going through it i'm up here you guys if you've been a Canon user, you're probably gonna be like, oh, like I, I trust Canon. I don't wanna go for anything else. And that's exactly how I feel because I've been using Canon for like years and years and years. Both of my vlogging camera and my DSLR are from Canon and I'm like used to it now. I know the settings and it's just a brand that I can rely on. So that's why I wanted to test the Canon M50 first because I feel like I'm gonna end up getting the Canon 50 I don't know yet guys I don't know yet I don't know yet I don't know how the clips look I haven't really started editing them and like looking at them this is the Fenty Beauty eavesdrop in the shade 17 <laughs> So this is what Urban Decay sent. We got the lipsticks here and then these are the new plumping shine balm. And wow, look at that. I love the autofocus. Look at this far. 
close. Um, and should we try one of these? I think we should. All right, so I want to try the new Plumping Shine Balm. These are the shades that they sent. Oh my god, the auto focus on this camera. I'm gonna do Runyon. Is this like inspired by Runyon Canyon? You guys don't live in LA. Runyon Canyon is probably one of the popular hiking trails here in LA. Like you're bound to find a celebrity there just hiking. Um, I think Vanessa I just like go to Runyon pretty often. So this is the color. It's this really pretty nude shade and I want to try it. Oh god. We'll see if it really like plumps my lip, but I like the color. It's very subtle. And this is just like the nude shade. On my way to the post office because I have to drop off a Poshmark package as well as pick up a couple of things from my PO box. Right now you guys are attached on my car mount. And not gonna lie guys, I don't know if I like the setup on the car. I think it's because my camera is so bulky that it kind of like, I feel like this is kind of illegal. Not illegal, but like, I don't know if it's safe because it covers a hefty amount of space on the front. And I feel like, I don't know. I mean, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. I'm obviously a safe driver. We're gonna drive safely, but while I was like setting it up, I was like, oh, this is bulky, bulky. Let's go ahead and open this package right now. I just placed my order at the Pokey Place. It's gonna be ready in about 20 minutes, which is a good amount of time to like get there. So, you know what, I need like, an, a package opener in my car. This is the Skin Perfecting Foundation and hopefully they got my shade correct. They never like asked me. <laughs> so, ooh, actually though, this is the Perfecting Setting Powder. Cute, cute. Next one is from Sunday School. First one we have is this, ooh, super cute ribbed biker shorts. Oh my gosh. A matching bikini, guys. Matching bikini. Next one, we got this lemon shorts. And then this is the matching bottom. Very, very cute. And then we got another bikini. I'm literally set for my trip. Oh, I think this one is just the same style. And then we got this bag here full of goodies. I got salmon, spicy tuna, and just regular tuna with cucumber, edamame, seaweed salad, rice in the bottom, cherry tomatoes, very cocky, jalapeno, and like other things. So yeah there's my lunch so i'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then i'm about to watch all american because season three just came out <laughs>
I guess I just missed him. Say it again as you kiss me. <laughs> Yum. Sharing the food. I got the crowd, which is like ground beef. I really like the quality of this camera. I know, it's nice. It's just cold. Yeah. Vanessa's over there. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Vanessa! <laughs> what just happened? Okay, 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 my phone. <laughs> I just caught the whole thing. There's like no one here. We were expecting a ton of people, but like no one is here, so. There's Vanessa. <laughs> you just saw her save her own damn phone. And then Ralph is over there. Right now, my friends are off and I'm still working. Laura, well, are you moving the water? That works, that works, that works. Daniel. Yo, I respect this so hardcore. <laughs> this, is like, this is the baseline of what we do. Like, this is why Ralph's meals are free. <laughs>
Go! Mark Pontus on the lead. Coming in second, Caroline Pontus. Ralph, uh, yeah. Ralph, you're Caroline. What kind of island boy? Are you serious? You're not serious. I am. Oh, that's serious? Guys, we're having sushi night Yay. by the pool. <laughs> we're the best people ever. Yeah.